In this tutorial, I will show you how to sculpt with radial symmetry in Blender. So this can be very useful for many things like sculpting a clay pot, sculpting details under a mushroom, or sculpting a fancy button, or really any objects which are mirroring around a center point. So for this first example, I have a cylinder and I subdivided it and then I gave it a subdivision surface modifier so it has lots of detail. So I'll go to Blender Sculpt Mode and to use the radial symmetry, we're going to click on this drop down arrow right here and then you can go down to radial and there's the X, Y, and Z axis. Now for this one, we want to do the Z axis so I'm going to start by just turning it up to maybe like a four. So now if I hover my mouse over this object, you can see that there are four different blue dots here and if I start to click and drag to sculpt, you can see it's mirroring it over on the sides because we chose the z-axis. If I were however to turn the radial z back to 1 and maybe use the y-axis, so we'll turn that to 4. Now if I start to sculpt here you can see it's doing it on this side kind of down here and if I instead use the x-axis it would of course do it on the x-axis the other way. But for most objects you're probably going to use the radial z so I'll turn this back to 1 and for the radial z here I can turn this up pretty big. Now if you turn it up higher it's going to be more detailed and there's going to be more of the mirrors. So I'm just going to turn this up pretty high to like a 14 and then you can of course sculpt if you want to and sculpt some cool details but what I'm going to do is hit the G key for the grab brush and then I can start to pull around the mesh and you can see we are now kind of like sculpting a clay pot and this kind of reminds me of like a potter's wheel so you'd spin the clay around and then as you sculpt on one side because it's spinning around the same sculpting applies to the rest of the shape so I could like make a cool little vase or a pot or something like that. Now one important thing to be aware of is that the center point is going to be wherever the object's origin is. So if I go back here to the layout, you can see the object's origin is that little orange dot there, and usually the object's origin is in the center of the object. However, let's say I'm editing the object, maybe I'm in edit mode and I move the object over for some reason, now you can see that the origin point is right over here so it's not in the center. So now if I go back to sculpt mode and I try to pull this around, you can see there's going to be some issues because it's moving it around from the center point here the center point is not in the center anymore. So you can see as I'm trying to move this, it's being warped and shaped in very weird angles. So if for some reason this is happening for you, you can go back here to the layout and you can click on object, set origin, origin to geometry. So just be aware of that when you're using the radial symmetry, it's going to mirror it from the center of wherever the origin is. Another example is for a mushroom. So I have this mushroom here that I've sculpted and I want to sculpt those wings or details which are underneath the mushroom. So for this object, I have a circle which I filled and then subdivided and then added a subsurf modifier so it has lots of detail. So I can now go to Blender's Sculpt Mode and for this I'm going to be using my drawing tablet and then I can just kind of go along here and sculpt those details into the mushroom. I can also hold down the control key and push in here and I'm using the draw brush for this. Maybe smooth it out by holding down the shift key. I can also go to the grab brush, make my brush bigger and then I can kind of pull this whole area down and you can now see we have those cool details underneath the mushroom. And then the last example that I wanted to show you is if you wanted to model some like fancy metal button. So for this I just added a cylinder and again I subdivided it and then added a subdivision surface modifier and applied the modifier so that it's very detailed. So I'll go into Blender Sculpt Mode and then of course go over here to the symmetry. You can use whichever one you want. You could use all of them if you want to or just the Z one. I'm just going to use the Z one here. And then for this I'll go to the draw brush and I'm going to start by zooming in and I'll kind of go around in a circle and just kind of pop out kind of a little ring here. And then on the sides I can kind of sculpt along here and I can do some really cool details. So just sculpting like a, a detailed button or something, maybe a button like on a jacket or something. You can kind of see what I'm going for. You could also like go here to the edge. You can kind of sculpt some cool details here, maybe sculpt in there. You could also sculpt some other cool details. So I could maybe make like a sun shape, kind of have that coming out there. That's pretty cool. Maybe even have like some zigzaggy patterns that go back and forth. Let's start over from the beginning again. Maybe I'll just like have this come out, have it go back. So that's looking really cool. So as you can see, I can get some really cool sculpting patterns. So that's how you can use Blender's radial symmetry. It's a very useful feature to know if you're sculpting in Blender. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to learn more about sculpting in Blender, then you can check out my Blender sculpting tutorial playlist where I have many more sculpting tutorials. You can learn to sculpt some different characters or some faces and I also have a sculpting for beginners tutorial as well as some other sculpting tool videos. But I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.